Delta Airlines is taking American Airlines lead, grounding planes to check for possible wiring problems. Together, the airlines will have canceled about 600 flights scheduled to depart through Friday, leaving many passengers stranded at the airport. Michael Straub spent the night sleeping on the baggage carousel in Atlanta. It seemed very understaffed. They had, uh, you know, uh, over a thousand people waiting in line. They had four tellers helping, you know, that many people. It, it seems insane. Americans said it began inspections after an audit by a joint team of inspectors from the FAA and the Fort Worth-based airline. Delta followed suit to comply with the same FAA directive, but some passengers didn't find out until they had already arrived at the airport. The line was about a quarter mile long. We stood in there for about three hours and uh, waited, and by the time I got to the front, there were no hotels left. The inspections come almost three weeks after the FAA ordered a check of all U.S. Airlines maintenance records. Earlier this month, the FAA hit Southwest with a $10.2 million civil penalty for missing the inspections. Company officials were aware of the mistake, but they continued to fly the planes with passengers. They were really were not prepared. You know, they think they'd have some kind of you know, situation or plan when this kind of thing happened. Both Delta and American Airlines expect to be back in full service or close to it by Friday. Ed Donahue, The Associated Press.